From Derry Cay we sailed away on the 23rd of May. We were taken on board by a pleasant crew bound for America. Fresh water then we did take on 5,000 gallons or more. In case we'd run short on the way to New York far beyond. What have I learned since the COVID outbreak started? Uh, well, first and foremost, I think I discovered that I am not so much an artist or a creator as a performer. Um, of course, I still had my piano, my music room. Um, I had online stuff. Uh, I didn't even listen to music for the first little bit because I was pretty low, but um, as far as creating music, I, I wasn't doing it. I wasn't singing by myself or along to anything. I didn't feel that, you know, I was the, I was the canary in the cage, uh, who wasn't singing. Um, so that really made me realize how much my live music, uh, side of my life impacts my mental health. It's a huge part of my identity. I didn't even really realize it has become a huge part of my identity and um, and my how I think of myself as, as an artist. So yeah, I, I learned that I was a performer. What new skills did I pick up or improve on? Um, I, skills, not much. Maybe um, I did a couple of um, remote recordings. And that was kind of cool. It was really cool. I, I didn't know how to do that. Um, I certainly haven't produced any, so I can't say it's a real it's a skill I necessarily picked up. But I, it was something new that I got to do. Um, and maybe in that I improved on my my pitch control. Maybe it was a good opportunity to just be locked in my closet with my earphones on and and have to just hear my voice the way that it is with no you know no reverb or no beautiful church that I get to sing in just just my closet just my voice and so yes I guess I applied my newfound skills by doing some remote recording and I've, I've got a couple more on the line that I might do so that's that's kind of cool um particular COVID story I mean I, yes there are a few um the good ones are uh that I've connected with so many people around the world to with the ideas of maybe doing a virtual recording or a couple of them. And, and, you know, some came to fruition, some might not, some might still happen. Some might happen, uh, in a few years from now. Now this is a new thing that's happened. We can send each other MP3s and, and add on and change. And, um, it's like we're together only we're halfway across the world from each other. Uh, and I'm working on one right now is, um, a, a little tiny jazz song. I thought to myself, this was before COVID, you should be able to write a jazz song, Mars. I mean, you sing jazz all the time. And, and so one day I went out for a walk and I, I wrote a melody and some lyrics. And I tried to figure out chords underneath it. And man, I just, I wasn't getting anywhere. And I sent it to a few people and they weren't getting anywhere. And maybe it was because I told them it was in B flat, but it's actually an F sharp. <laughs> what a horrible thing to do to somebody and a friend. Anyway, I changed it to F. And uh, sent it to uh, a person that I met only once, but became friends on Facebook, a bass player um, out of England. Um, and he just sent me back an arrangement of my piece with chords. And he played chords over top of my melody. And it sounds so cool. So uh, I, I'm really stoked about that. So that's um, that was a nice story that I'd like to share with you for sure. Uh, were there any dark moments during this time and how did I work through them? Well, yeah, there's, it's been mostly dark moments, not going to lie. Mostly really, really dark moments. I mean, this was also the year I turned 40 and I knew it was going to bother me. Um, and unfortunately it can't not when you're a, a woman who is a performer and is, um, touted probably more for the way that she looks than for the sound of her voice. And you may argue with me, but come on. Uh, I, I know where my strengths lie. So turning 40 is a, is, is tricky because I was just sort of starting to get my career going post a divorce. And then I was going to be turning 40 and wow, that's going to be big. So I packed the year full of all these new things and 
and creative things that were going that I was going to you know it was going they were going to usurp the uh, the sadness of turning forty and I was going to just sail through forty in, in all my glory uh, and then of course uh, three months in everything stopped so I was just stuck with being at home alone and watching the days go by and you know the lines on my face crease and uh, and thinking wow you've you know, you, you had a good year and you, now you don't. And do you have anything when you come out of this? Will you be too old? Will you have a place? Will you still be relevant? Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to try, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for things to be different when, when we get back. Uh, we'll see. And how do I get through them? I got through them uh, with a, a lot of beer and... <laughs> Um, and I got through them by just not, um, I guess by, by finding somebody who told me that I'm wrong, someone to boost my ego, someone to pat me on the head and say, no, Marcy, you're beautiful. You'll be beautiful forever. Everybody loves your voice. Everybody loves you. You're going to be awesome. And, uh, that sounds silly, but I think that's what most of us need. We need, we need, uh, the applause. We're used to it. We're the type of people who need that sort of thing. That's why we're in this business. Maybe that doesn't apply to everybody. It applies to me. I uh, I don't need to be the best by any means, um, but I need someone to say you're you're doing this for someone other than yourself. You know, I, I don't I don't put on a show for my mirror. You know, singing into my brush. I perform a show to give people a good time and. Um, and tell a story, and connect with other musicians, and if people aren't digging that anymore, then I won't dig it anymore either, but if they are willing to have me back, I am willing to come back. Do I have any new goals or resolutions that came out of this time? Yeah, um, continue to be relevant, <laughs> and, uh, and and work with um Work with new people. Work with people not in my area. Work with, you know, people uh, who bring something new to the table, who see something new in me and that I might bring to the table. I think that's really exciting. Where do I see myself in summer 2021? Well, I'd love for you and I to be uh, doing some festivals. <laughs> uh, seriously, I would, I would love to. Uh, I'd love to be singing in a couple festivals. Um, and I'd love to also... Um, just be sitting on the dock listening to music and listening to what some of my other friends have recorded so uh either way music will be a part of summer 2021 and I, I think I'd like to be singing back at the Black Horse if that's a thing that still happens I would like to be on that stage and wearing those crazy outfits and uh, seeing my regulars and, and playing with all the all the musicians that come in and out of that place. Uh, it's really been a, a big part of my life that's missing. So, yeah, uh, I'd like to be back there. But I don't know if I see that happening. I just hope that's happening. Anyway, I hope those answer your questions. I hope they uh, make sense. Take care. Bye. From Derry Cay we say on board by a pleasant crew bound for America. Fresh water then we did take on 5,000 gallons or more in case we'd run short on the way to New York far beyond the Shamrock Shore. 